this is the Germont British News, presenting the world to the world. Nearing the end of the long road back, airborne forces on Okinawa prepare for the occupation of Japan. Their destination is Atsugi, only 18 miles from Tokyo itself. As the planes touch down, the local Japanese clear out. The first planes land with their cargoes of airborne veterans who fought at Leyte and Luzon. Rendezvous for the invasion forces was Yokosuka in Tokyo Bay. Sweeping in to the shores of this former naval base, the first seaborne troops make their landing. A strange invasion with no prelude of bombs or shells, but the occupation had officially begun. Vice Admiral Carney accepts the surrender on behalf of the United States. Nearby, the charred and shattered hull of the battleship Nagato is also handed over. <music> Members of her crew are found to be full of arrogance, even in the midst of defeat. More enemy craft in Tokyo Bay include midget submarines of the type used at Pearl Harbor and also pocket destroyers. Meanwhile, on the great battleship Missouri, the stage is set for the final act of Japanese surrender. Arriving from Manchuria, General Wainwright still bears the signs of his long imprisonment. General Doolittle, who bombed Tokyo for the first time. And lastly, the Supreme Commander himself, the architect of a great victory. The Japanese envoys arrive. Foreign Minister Shigemitsu, who lost a leg in a Shanghai air raid, hobbles on board. He will sign on behalf of his emperor. General Omezu represents the Imperial General Staff. It is 9 a.m. Tokyo time, September the 2nd, 1945. In this moment of solemn triumph, General MacArthur speaks. We are gathered here representatives of the major warring powers to conclude a solemn agreement whereby peace may be restored. It is my earnest hope, and indeed the hope of all mankind, that from this solemn occasion, a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past. Taking his place at the surrender table, Shigemitsu reads through the terms. Japan is to surrender unconditionally, to accept the Potsdam Declaration, and to cease hostilities in every theater of war. And now, after three years, eight months, and 25 days, the Japanese war is at an end. General Omezu follows with an impassive face. He remains standing as he hurriedly signs the document. With ceremonial silence, General MacArthur signs on behalf of the United Nations. To General Wainwright goes the pen with which he wrote the first part of his name. The second pen to General Percival of Singapore. Among the other United Nations, China, now ending a war of more than eight years, and Russia, who dealt one of the final blows. The mighty powers that brought victory will together make a reality of peace on Earth. 